Okay, so for all this question, this one is the exercise on transforming from the um, code, uh, Cartesian coordinate system into cylindrical. Okay, so uh, for A, so now look at your order of integration. So you are given dz dx dy, which means that your dv is uh given by dz da xy so your region is lying on xy plane so now we want to see what is the region looks like so we just take out the limit of x and the limit of y so in this case you have uh, dy dx so y constant y constant is 0 to 1 and x is a function 0 to positive square root of 1 minus y Square. Okay, so now we want to want to look at uh, what is the shape. So the shape of the region is coming from the function. So this one is constant. So it looks like what uh, what we can have from the equation is coming from x equal to square root of one minus y square. Again, if you leave your uh, equation in this form, we have no idea the curve that we have. So then we have to square both sides. Then we have x square plus y square equal to 1. So uh, our region is a circle with radius 1 center at the origin. But we still unclear do we need to shade all over the circle or maybe just part of the circle. Then it should be referred to the limit given. So the order is dx, dx, dy, y constant. So for y constant, you have to provide the uh, horizontal line. Okay, so as you can see there, your horizontal line, the this green one is lying. So look at the y here, zero to one zero y zero. So y zero is here to one. So meaning that the y is not negative. Okay, so um, we we just refer to the y positive. So we don't have uh, this such of line on the y positive and then from the y positive only this one so is it uh, the first both the first and the second quadrant so you have to look at from your um, your order you sorry your limit of x so at x x is starting in the lower bound is x equal to zero so the lower bound is x equal to 0 so this x equal to 0 that is the first point and the upper bound is the positive of x if you choose this this one is x negative square root but positive square root is part of the circle but lying on the first quadrant here yeah, that is the upper bound so meaning that uh, the possible region that need to be shaded is only on the first uh, quadrant so that is the the region that we have okay so meaning that the other graph is not part of the region so this uh, this this equation is coming from the equation of the circle okay so that is our region so now because of you have to convert uh, originally the da is in terms of xy in Cartesian, but you want to solve in polar so da is r d r d theta so then from the da we can determine the theta and determine the limit of r okay so now you have the circle centered at the origin so meaning that your theta is exactly on the first uh, uh, quadrant so obviously the theta is 0 to pi over 2 and your r so how can we determine the limit of r so you have to draw a line starting at the origin so we can see r from from uh, 0 to, to 1 okay r 0 to r 1 so 0 to 1 okay so now we're done for uh, da how about the z so we have to find the 
the limit of uh, the limit of z so now limit of z you have to look at from your solid but the solid is you, you we don't have the solid yet then you have to look at the information provided so z is uh, this is the limit of z so z 0 to positive square root of 4 minus x square minus y square okay as i mentioned before sometimes you don't need to sketch the solid and in fact there is no mark for the solid sometimes okay i don't i, I i'm not saying that there is no mark but sometimes there is no mark because of but for the region there is a mark the region is very critical it's very uh, helpful to guide you to determine the correct limit of r and theta but sometimes the solid sometimes we, we we don't need them because you can easily obtain imagine uh, because the limit is already given you can see that the limit imagine you are something inside inside the solid where your your region is looks like this and your lower bound is the floor how can we know the floor it is given z is zero is given and uh, you have a surface you have a surface but we are not sure the surface looks like but it doesn't matter because for the cylindrical coordinate you just need to determine the z uh, in terms of r and theta so you can just directly convert the square root of all this thing into r and theta and you will directly obtain 4 minus r r square so now by changing into cylindrical coordinate so we want to evaluate okay so the a you, you are evaluating, right? Triple integral. So, you are not computing the volume because there is an integral given. So, the integral given is... Um, just a second. Z. Okay. So, Z, you don't need to change. Z is Z. Z, R, D, R, D, theta. So, limit of Z directly from your limit given but in terms of R and theta, 4 minus R square r0 to 1 and theta 0 to pi over 2 and it is transformed into cylindrical coordinate okay but if you want to know uh, exactly the the solid looks like it's also possible okay what what we have here so i explain as well how can we have the solid uh, based on the limit given 4 minus x squared minus y squared so this one will give you z equal to zero it is a flaw but this one will give you z equal to uh, square root of 4 minus x squared minus y squared if you leave your expression in this form then we have no idea so we have to square both sides so z squared and then plus x squared plus y squared equal to 4 so what is that that is a sphere with radius 2 but you have to go back with the original expression even though you have a sphere with radius 2 but we only consider the the uh, z positive meaning that we have we have the surface that we have is actually hemisphere because we only want z to be positive value so for this we have hemis hemisphere so when you sketch the hemisphere with radius 2 it looks like a pole, but this is actually hemisphere. So for hemisphere, this is two, and this is two, and this is two. Okay, so and imagine how can we know what is the solid that we have? So your lower bound is that equal to zero, and your upper bound you are bounded above by the hemisphere. So this is actually your solid. Okay, but then uh, uh, you have to look at your region. This is from from the from the result of your limit uh, of the limit of the z where from there you can obtain the the solid in 3d but you have to refer to your region so the region tells you what is the the exact region lying on the x y plane as you can see here uh, your region is only on the first quadrant or in 3d we call that as a first octant so instead of so meaning that your solid is actually not that one it's just a quarter of the hemisphere which means that um, 
when we combine the information from the region and the solid so your possible solid is only located on so why this is x and this is y only on the first quadrant this is one this is one so um, just a quarter of the one and that one just a quarter of the hemisphere so a quarter of the hemisphere and this is 2, 2, and 2. And you are standing inside that solid. Okay. So now we can double check. We can verify whether our solid is correct or not. Now you read again. So your lower bound is the floor on XY plane. And your upper bound is you are covered above by the hemisphere. Hemisphere which is given by this equation with radius 2. Okay, so if you provide this to be a solid, it is wrong because as you can see here from the information provided on the dx and dy here, uh, the region is only on the first quadrant or in 3D, this is 2D, we call that as first quadrant. In 3D, we call this as a first, quad, first octant, which means that x, y and z positive. The value of x and the y and the z, they are all positive. So this is your solid. But in this question, you don't need, if you don't want to sketch the solid, it is okay. Because you can find the limit directly from the given limit in Cartesian. Okay, so hopefully you understand what I mean. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to complete this. So for your exercise, please do your own calculation of this particular triple integral in cylindrical coordinate. So please show that the answer is 7 pi over 16. So this is not volume because there is a uh, density function. I mean, uh, there is a um, integral given, which is x. Question B. Uh, you okay? We we have the uh, dz, dx, dy. So y constant. So now meaning that our region here is again on the x y plane. Okay, as I mentioned before, that normally the syndrical and polar, this region should be lying on the xy plane. Okay. So, uh, now we want to read, want to uh, determine what is the shape of the region. So, I just take out the limit provided y is constant, negative 1 to 1, and x is 0 to 1 minus 1 squared. And from the x, we can see it is a circle with radius 1. So, then we can sketch the curve. Where we have a circle, but what is the area that we need to share is based on the limit given. So in this case, the order of integration is dx dy. What is constant, meaning that you have to provide the horizontal line. So now from the horizontal line, y is lying between minus one and one. That one is given here. Okay, but then your x is only positive. So when you draw based on the uh, vertical line, horizontal line that we have. So the lowest bound, the small, the lower bound of x is zero, which is the y axis, and the upper bound is part of the circle. So that's why we need to shade the, uh, the region on the first and the fourth octant. Sorry, uh, quadrant because this is on two D. We have a quadrant, first quadrant and fourth quadrant. So now from here we can determine the. Uh, we if we look at back our d, the d a here is on the x y plane right, and since it is based on circle, so we can uh, com, uh, convert into polar or cylindrical coordinate. So our d a is r d r d theta. Then we can determine the limit of r. R is obviously we have a circle with radius one, so we have zero to one. Okay, zero to one, and theta because now it is lying on the first and the fourth quadrant. Okay, remember last time I already sh uh, uh, already mentioned that if you have your region is on the first and the fourth, so you can use the uh, negative theta, which is uh, this one, uh, it is two, 270, it is equal to negative 90. Or in a radian, you have negative pi over 2. And this one is 90. So, in a uh, radian, we have pi over 2. So, you can have the, ang uh, the, the, the range of theta uh, is negative pi over 2. 
negative pi over 2 to 0. So this one is 0. And 0 to pi over 2. So when we join them together, for the first and fourth quadrant, we can rewrite the angle in this form, which is this one. Okay, now we want to look at the limit of z. The limit of z given is 0 to x. So without sketching the solid, and actually we can directly convert the limit of the z given in Cartesian into uh, cylindrical, where we know that uh, x, uh, the, okay, in Cartesian, the boundary of the z 0 to x but we change x into polar and we have r cos theta so then we can have the triple integral where the function here can be transformed into polar we have r square and then r dz dr d theta theta is negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 r 0 to 1 and z 0 to R cos theta. So uh, we have R cube dz dr d theta. So hopefully we can integrate this easily. So firstly, with respect to z, so 0 to R cos theta dr d theta and we have r4 cos theta dr d theta and integrate respect to r so cos theta 1 over 5 r5 0 to 1 d theta uh, we have 1 over 5 cos theta d theta 1 over 5 sine theta uh, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 when we evaluate we have 1 over 5 so sine pi over 2 minus sine negative pi over 2 Okay, so for this, for this, you have to evaluate. Don't leave your answer in this form. Okay, so the answer is 2 over 5.